Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Haight here, Independent Scentsy Consultant, back with you again today for the warm review of the 25 um, Summer 2022 Bring Back My Bars um, and, and our thoughts on those. So um, the first one, Cotton Candy Cookie. Um, this one is Cotton Candy, uh, Sugared Raspberries, um, cookies. Um, I found this one to be me medium. It smells like a different one. <laughs> I'm cold or I'm cold. I'm empty. The empty clam. Um, so I wrote down notes for these, um, all of these. So it was really amazing, um, but it didn't last. So I put it in, in the morning. This was yesterday. Um, I eat like put it in for a couple hours and it was amazing absolutely amazing it was mostly cotton candy with like a hint of cookie and my cat might you might hear him meow because Dale's planting we got a marked down hydrangea bush um at Walmart <laughs> so he's out there planting it and Gingy he left the 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 glass door open and so Gingy might be yelling at him but um sorry but um, yeah, and just a little bit of cookie. It was wonderful, absolutely lovely. We went and did some errands, um, came back and I couldn't smell it. Um, now I will note that a lot of these, um, I had trouble with performance. Now keep in mind, I've got an air conditioner down here, an air conditioner in our bedroom. So I do think that the fact that these are freshly poured I don't know how other people read that. Like four. You guys, I have to peel the sticker off. Um, I think that since these are freshly poured, um, the fact that I have air conditioners running makes it a little more difficult. So I think for me personally, that's what I think is the problem with um, the performance. Um, I know for a fact in my bedroom, that's part of it, but I know like, um, collections in the past, like, uh, sleep happy. No, that's the name of a bar. Catching Z's. Um, catching Z's was light. Um, almost all of them and they did better once they sat a little bit. So, I mean, these are newly created. So I think that's part of the problem. And of course, I can't read this one. Four, six of 22. So these were just poured, well, this this one in particular, four, six of 2022. So what is it? It's already June. So I mean, it's been a month. You would expect a little bit more from it. But it was so good the few hours that we were here that I'm not willing to give up on this one. I'm absolutely obsessed with cotton candy. Um, so I'm not willing to give up on this one. Um, so for me, this one's club worthy for now. Um, now I've come winter, um, and the heat is on and then I'm still having issues with performance. I'll probably kick it out. But for now, um, this one's a club worthy one for me. And then, um, inner peace. So Inner Peace is um, earthy wood notes, lemon grows, rejuvenating cypress. Um, I felt like this one was medium strong. Um, it was a little aggressive at first. Um, not like terrible, not like chase you out of the house, you're suffocating, but it was kind of strong um, at first. And then it died off. Um, I did this one in the office area, which we also called Gingy's bedroom. <laughs> um, cause he has a bed and, and food and stuff in his litter box. Um, so to me, this one came off, um, very lemongrass citronella candle. Um, and it's the lemon, but it's not like a beautiful, like lemon sorbet or squeeze the day kind of lemon. It's very like earthy lemon. And I, I suppose it's a cypress that makes it feel very lemongrass, very citronella. 
And I think that's why I did love it. It could almost come off soapy. Like the type of lemon. Um, this is not a club one for me. Um, it was great performer, so we didn't struggle to smell that. Um, Dale, like me, wasn't a huge fan, but um, yeah, it was just, it was okay. Um, like day two, it was just kind of meh, but um, it's kind of strong at first. So, I don't know, it wasn't terrible. Um, it's just not a favorite of ours. Um, so I would say that's strong to medium. Um, but that was a small room too that I melted that one in. Um, the next one is Flower Child. And I did this one in our bedroom. And this is has an interesting story. This is light. This is um, Sweet Red Berries. Wild Gardenia and Sandalwood. Um, this is, I'm pretty certain, and other people have said it too, that it's a dupe for um, Juicy Couture um, Viva Lou Juicy Perfume. And I'm like, when we stopped filming, I said to Dale, I'm like, doesn't that smell like a perfume? And he was like, yeah, it does smell like a perfume. And I was like, I feel like it's a Juicy Couture perfume. They have like four different and I know Patricia Gates had mentioned that someone had said it, and then Justine's Aroma Coma, and I can't remember, someone else mentioned it. And I was like, 100% Viva Lou Juicy. And I even kind of said that today, I'm like, I feel like of all of them, which he wouldn't know, it's Viva Lou Juicy. Oh, it's so freaking good. This is club worthy. Now, here's the interesting story. So I did this in my bedroom which I do four cubes in the polar panorama, um, four cubes in the diamond milk glass and always have amazing, um, longer kind of performance. And, um, so not any of these have I had like a strong, strong performance like I normally would in my bedroom with that many cubes. Now keep in mind that air conditioner because it cools down all but my son's room. He has his own air conditioner and keeps the door shut because he doesn't want the cat in his room. So, because he also has a game room up in the attic. He doesn't want the cat crawling through the walls. It's not like he's just anti-cat, but um, he just doesn't want to deal with Jindy up there and having to worry about him. So I don't blame him. So, um, yeah, so this was in our bedroom and the air conditioner has to work to cool down the rest of the upstairs. And when it's warm out, cause it, I mean the, you know, the warm air goes up. So it, you know, it's on constantly. And one day was kind of cool and we didn't need the air conditioner. So we turned it off and I could smell this like, and I'm like, that's how I know that the air conditioner is messing with, I, I bought it last year. And that's how I know for a fact, this is messing with the performance. So when I did not have the air conditioner on, this was nice. I mean, it was on the lighter side, even more than medium. It was like, but I just wonder in the winter how amazing this is going to be. And this is 100% club worthy for me. This is totally going to my club. I'm not giving up on this one. Um, that's one of my favorite perfumes that I get for my Scentbird subscription is um, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Flower Child, hello. If you love this, then you will love Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, promise. <laughs> Any of the Juicy Coutures, because they're all kind of similar. Amazing, <laughs> spot on amazing. So, highly recommend. <laughs> and I know for a fact that this one is going, because of the performance when we turn the air conditioner off and I could smell this, that's how I know this is gonna do fantastic in my bedroom in the winter. Even if it's lighter, I'm. I, it's so beautiful. I I'm willing to be okay with a you know a lighter, maybe more medium, light to medium kind of performer. So I'm super tickled with this one. Um, and I am the weirdo, you guys, that would put cotton candy cookie in my bedroom. Like that wouldn't bother me at all. <laughs> so if this is a lighter one, even though for a couple hours it was it did pretty well down here, um, I'd say medium. For the couple hours i'm just sad that we left and i thought that i would still smell this all day and, and we didn't but we both liked it for the couple hours that we smelled it we both just didn't we both liked flower child we both didn't care for that one he better like flower child because i wear juicy couture viva la juicy so 
Um, the infamous uh, Fairy Perry Pumpkin. Um, this I did down here. Um, and it was a medium performer, I would say, medium to light. Um, I know people don't like this and it's definitely not my favorite. It's definitely not club worthy, but I wouldn't mind having another bar. Um, I didn't think it was awful. <laughs> um, it's so different though. It's very canned pumpkin, but I swear to you, I get like a candy kind of something in there and I still haven't 100% figured out exactly what it reminds me of but what I smell with the canned pumpkin is a toasted like a a marshmallow covered with toasted coconut so I get like a toasted coconut marshmallow in with the very fairy pumpkin I don't mind it it comes off like a like a pumpkin candy um to me I didn't think it was that terrible I wouldn't mind having another bar um, just to melt at um, Thanksgiving, maybe not exactly Thanksgiving, but um, most people aren't going to smell this, but um, it's a Nashi pear, uh, fresh picked pumpkin, tart green apple, which I didn't get tart green apple. I did get the pear, um, obviously the fresh picked pumpkin and toasted spices. I don't really get the toasted spices on a crisp breeze of autumn air. Um, I don't really get autumn air. Um, now see, people compare this to pumpkin guts. I hate pumpkin guts. I hated every time my kids wanted to carve pumpkins because I hated that smell. It's not quite as earthy to me and my nose personally. Um, I literally can't stand the smell of pumpkins, um, the inside of a carving pumpkin but so what saves this one for me personally is the fact that I get that almost candied toasted coconut rolled marshmallow um literally have you ever eaten one <laughs> a, a coconut or a coconut a marshmallow rolled in toasted coconut um they're actually pretty good but I I love mar all kinds of marshmallow I love marshmallow fluff I could just eat it with a spoon out of the jar love marshmallow um, I could just eat a whole bag of marshmallows. I love marshmallow peeps. I love marshmallows. Um, I'll eat them charcoal black. I will eat them. My favorite is um, toasted golden brown to where they could almost, you know, start on fire, but they don't. Oh, those are my favorite. Anyways, that's what saves this one for me. I literally think that if pumpkin marshmallow, which was cloyingly sweet to me because of the marshmallow and that one was just so cloying. Um... I think this one could have been pumpkin marshmallow and I, I probably wouldn't dislike it. It just gave me a headache when I did pumpkin marshmallow. This does not give me a headache. This is decent. Like I didn't mind it, <laughs> but I'm the weirdo that liked casting. Well, didn't mind casting spells either. Um, I had it in my club long enough to get one more bar um, for Halloween. I didn't think it was that bad, but I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. I literally don't mind it. It's like, I, I'll just say the same thing 800 times, but that's what I get when I smell this. I didn't think it was that bad. I, I don't want to put it in my club. I might invest in one more bar because I just didn't think it was that bad. Um, and I, I personally <laughs> um, don't think it smells like pumpkin guts per se because um, I get a pumpkin candy, <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's just my, my opinion. <laughs> um, lemon coconut chiffon. Lemon coconut chiffon. Um, this one is medium to strong for me. Um, this is a club worthy bar for me. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Dale and I absolutely loved it. Um, and um, this reminds me, I set it on cold and I'm saying it on warm of um, Girl Scout cookies, they had, they were like a moon shape. Um, I know they've come out with iced ones now, but um, this was like a couple years ago, they had moon shaped ones that were like a hard shortbread kind of cookie. Um, and kind of like a Mexican cookie almost, and it was rolled in powdered sugar, but it was lemon flavored. That's exactly what this reminds me of. What you smell on cold is what you smell on warm to us. Um, we loved it. 
absolutely loved it. I 100% get like a powdered sugar. Like I can almost taste powdered sugar. Like that lemon cookie. Um, the, there's a hint of coconut in here. Um, but again, it just gives off more of that Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> With the powdered sugar and lemon flavor. Amazing. <laughs> so that's a Club Worthy bar. Um, the next one is Zeppelin. And... My son, when he smelled these on cold, oh, I, wait, really quick. Um, my son, um, he wouldn't get on camera with me, but um, he said lemon coconut chiffon. He got like a buttered popcorn note that other people mentioned. I don't really smell that, but I can, it's funny that he mentioned that and other people have mentioned that. I'm like, that's so interesting to me. So he didn't mind it. He actually kind of liked it, but um trying to think if he had an opinion about those. Oh, was it Flower Child? No, I think it's Love and Happiness. Um, I'll know it when I smell it. But Zeppelin, this is his favorite, and this is also Dale's. Um, this one is Citrus and Sage. I did this one in the bedroom. Um, because the guys like this so much and it does remind me a little bit of like sheer leather, it's for now club worthy for us. Um, it's very light. Well, it was in my bedroom <laughs> with the air conditioner, so it was light, uh, but I could smell it. Um, it just reminded me of the way that I smell sheer leather in there. Um, it, it's a sophisticated cologne, um, it's, it slightly reminds me of My Hero. It's like if you mixed My Hero and Sheer Leather, maybe. It's amazing. I actually really love this one. Yeah, it's got, it's got a little, a little My Hero. My Hero is a little aggressive. Um, this is a very soft, um, version almost with like with like maybe sheer leather I want to say if you mix those two or maybe mystery man in my hero but like a toned down version it's lighter like sheer leather was um so this is a keeper for us we really liked it we really enjoyed it all of us um so zeppelin that's a club bar <laughs> Um, the next one, Buckleberry. Um, my son got the same thing on this one that Dale picked up first, and it took me a minute. Like, the second time I smelled it, I smelled skunk, but they smelled, <laughs> let's put it, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, my throat's a little dry from talking. Um, they put it like, um, we'll put it the way Dale put it, like kitty litter, <laughs> like cat urine. Um on cold. Now, warmed, neither of us picked that up. My son picked it up on cold, but he doesn't pay attention when I'm warming anyway. It's a very deep, rich berry. What is this one? Um, it's berries, buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. We got no coffee cake. We got all berries. Um, but I also don't get the <clears throat> the pastry note in um, red, white, and berry pie. So if you did pick that up, in the, you might pick it up in this one. But it's like a, a cinnamon, deep, rich berry. And it's almost very blackberry rich. Um, with like cinnamon. It's, it's very nice. I definitely for sure want to get another bar, maybe two. Because I totally get the rich, rich, deep berries. Um... Yeah, I just, I want to mix this because um, I think it'd be so much fun to mix it. So I like this one with that like red hot cinnamon and the deep, deep, deep rich berries. Um, I mean, I still mostly get blackberry or black raspberry. Maybe even a mulberry rich berry, like deep. This is definitely fall. Um, I know it says summer, but um, it's definitely fall. Let's see. Uh, this is medium to strong for us. It, I don't think it's club worthy for me. 
um, but I do want to get a couple more to mix. Um, so we did enjoy that. It was, yeah, medium to strong. Um, yeah, both Dale and I, even though we didn't love it on cold, we did, we did really enjoy it on warm. So that was actually decent on warm. Um, at, like on cold, I thought it was a little strange, but on warm, it was actually very pretty. Um, <clears throat> speaking of berries, love you very much. Um, this one is red berries, white peach, tart cranberry, splash of vanilla. Um, I did this one downstairs as well. This was also medium to strong, maybe more on the medium side, um, in between medium and strong. Um, it was very nice. This one comes off more like perfumey blackberry, um, like black raspberry vanilla. Um, it's perfumey like black raspberry vanilla and Almost got something else in it. Oh, cranberry. Was, yeah, cranberry. I would agree with cranberry, which again feels very <laughs> fall <coughs> to me. It just says, yeah, it says tart cranberry. There is a tartness about it. That does kind of remind me of Snow Kiss Cranberry, so yes. Um, this one comes off a little more potpourri um, for us, whereas this one was deep rich berries and red hot cinnamon. Um, this one is more like a potpourri berry. So if you liked, um, if you like Welcome Home, minus the red to hot cinnamon of that, um, My Home, I, I think that you would really like Love You Very Much. It's not club worthy for me, um, but it was, you know, another more rich, it's not as deep and rich, um, as Buckleberry. But, of course, that one has the red hot cinnamon. But this one is more, per I don't know how to say it. It's just, it's more perfumey than, it's perfumey like black raspberry vanilla. But it's got that, like, snow, it's like if you mix, okay, here we go. If you mixed black raspberry vanilla and, um, it was there and it left. <laughs> um, black raspberry vanilla and, um, hold on, Snow Kiss Cranberry. <laughs> if you mix those two together, I think you would get Love You Very Much. Um, so that's just my thoughts. Again, it's not cloverty for me. I can mix black raspberry vanilla with um, Snow Kiss Cranberry because I have like 10 bars of Snow Kiss Cranberry that I stocked up on. So I could mix those if I wanted this feel, which I like Snow Kiss Cranberry better all by itself. So it's nice. Um, it was very nice. So it's just not club worthy. Uh, Cutie Pie Cupcake. <laughs> the reason why I have two, because I always melt the whole bar usually. There's one other one that I didn't do that with that I'll explain. I was cleaning my warmers and I forgot that I didn't put these two in and I found them the next day when I went to clean the warmers and was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So I remember why I did not put Cutie Pie Cupcake in my club. Um, it's sweet clementine, yellow cake batter, vanilla, sugary frosting. Um, it's one I'm toying with. Um, I don't think because I have... Uh, lemon sh coconut chiffon, which is a similar vibe as this one. I probably won't put this in my club and maybe just get a couple bars and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I should have brought water. Um, it was a medium performer. Um, it doesn't last terribly long, like we got a day out of it. Um, my daughter does still have this in her club. It gives me Fruit Loop vibes when it's warming. And that's why I didn't put it in my club last time because I'm like, I can just eat Fruit Loops when I want that. Um, this time around, I get a little more cake than I got the first time, but it's still Fruit Loop. I don't get like, like the orange, I mean, I still get an orange Twinkie, like we said originally, but it leans a little more 
orange Twinkie with a side of Fruit Loops, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Um, you get the Fruit Loop vibe, but I also get like the orange Twinkie. But it's not like you're you're make, you're baking a cake um, in the oven and you put like a warm. That's definitely Clementine cupcake. Is definitely way more cake. Um, but that's not a strong performer for me. Um, lasts a couple hours and then it's gone. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just get a couple and not put this in my club because I mean I don't have all the money in the world. And it's just not one that I'm super excited about. I like it. I just feel like Sensi will come out with something else sometime. So, but <coughs> I accidentally have two cubes left. So, <laughs> um, love and happiness. This is the one that my son, when he smelled it, he's like, it smells like a balloon, <laughs> like a latex balloon. Um, I can see why he might think that, but it's, it's the most amazing perfume to me. Um, love and happiness here is weird notes, glazed ch chestnut, vanilla and sugar cane. Oh. This was another really light performer, but I did this in my bedroom and I could kind of smell it similar to like flower child. And I just know, I just know this is going to be amazing come fall winter. Amazing. Ah, this is totally 100% club worthy on cold sniff and I'm holding out hope that this one does well in fall and winter. Uh, this is one I am not willing to give up. Um, it totally reminds me of Commodity Gold Perfume or if you're familiar with Sassy Girl Aroma, their scent Black Hood. It kind of gives me quite a bit of Black Hood vibes. Um, it's like a slightly smoky but yet sweet perfume. Again, I, even on cold and warm, I still get the same thought in my head that if you took half a cube of um, around the campfire or even Palo Santo, but it's a little more that sweet, smoky, like around the campfire, just take half a cube and you put like maybe three cubes of sugar with that and you get that hint of like a smoky but like in a sweet girly perfume kind of a way if that even makes sense and it must be the glaze is it glaze yeah it must be the glazed chestnut it gives it kind of a smoky feel if you love perfume um which a lot of these are if you love um around the campfire if you love things like bonfire beach um, this is stronger to me than, well, maybe not warming. <laughs> it's around the same as Bonfire Beach in intent. Some people think that's strong. I don't think that's super strong, but, um, almost sugar. Uh, people have said this is similar to like mixing. I, I still think you need a little bit of smoky for me personally. <laughs> but it's like mixing pink haze and sugar. I still think this has like a smokiness about it. That's so, it's like a gourmand perfume. Um, there's a lot of perfumes in, scent, in my Scentbird subscription that are classified gourmand and they have like the, ch the glazed chestnut and they have like roasted almond or vanilla, like tonka bean, like those are very rich, like caramel, um, this is absolutely beautiful, absolutely to die for. Maybe slightly powdery, but what, I mean, a lot of perfumes can be, but in, in this, in just, oh, this sweet, smoky way, it's, it's amazing. It's club worthy. Um, I must have this in my life, so. Um, Caramel Vanilla Delight. Now, <clears throat> this is vanilla ice cream. I don't get any of that. <laughs> liquid caramel, I don't get any of that. Well, I get caramel, but not like an ooey gooey liquid caramel. I get like plain old generic caramel, like a caramel scented candle. Um, and splash of white rum, nope, got zero rum. <laughs> this was light to medium, I did this downstairs. Um, I struggled to smell it, but keep in mind, I struggled to smell simply vanilla. 
Um, I struggled to smell happy birthday, or no. Well, happy birthday, the one time I melted it, I struggled, struggled to smell it. Um, I struggle to smell birthday wishes. Like I, I can do the whole thing and I don't, in my bedroom, I do four cubes in one warmer, four cubes in the other warmer, I don't smell it. I don't even kind of smell it. At least simply vanilla, I get a generic vanilla candle. Um, I, beyond this, I much prefer toffee butter crunch. I much prefer um, vanilla waves. I can smell that one really well. I much prefer vanilla bean, vanilla bean buttercream and maybe mix toffee butter crunch with it because I can smell toffee butter crunch. I struggle to smell salted caramel toffee. I struggle to smell, um, well, I kind of smelled salted caramel cupcake from last Bring Back My Bar, but it, it was a struggle. Like for a couple hours I smelled it and I'm like, where did the caramel go? <laughs> So I've kept Toffee Butter Crunch in my club um, because of all the caramel things, it's the one I like the most and did the best for me. Um, again, I, I'm still a huge fan of the Vanilla Bean Buttercream and Vanilla Waves. This doesn't do anything for me. I wanted vanilla ice cream. When I smell apricot vanilla, which does very well for me, it smells like Perry's Peach Ice Cream. I get the ice cream. I get the ice cream and strawberry swirl. I do not get ice cream from this. I get a generic vanilla candle and I get a generic caramel candle. I don't even get like a gooey, gooey, rich caramel. No. If I told you that's what I got, me personally, in my nose, my house, I'd be lying. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm gonna be real. And Dale didn't care for it. We didn't get much from it. It was just super generic and blah. I want to love it, I really do, but it's just, it's not for us, um, so that's a no-go on the club, um, I'm just, I don't even want any more bars of it, it's not impressive, but I will keep my toffee butter crunch, um, and my other vanilla, it's like I have a whole brick of vanilla bean buttercream, I'll keep that one, um, are you okay? Oh, he's getting soap, you can use the dish soap, you know. Anyways, sorry. Um, forever yours. <laughs> uh, sorry, I hope you grabbed a snack <laughs> and a beverage because this will be a long one. Um, forever yours. This was this was so light for us. I don't even think I smelled it. <laughs> I don't think I smelled it. Um, this is sweet creamy lemon. Jasmine, um, it's pretty, <coughs> when I stuck my nose up to the, the warming dishes in my bedroom, it was, it was sweet and it was powdery sweet and it was very pretty, like a very pretty perfume, but this is so light, I couldn't smell it. Like, at least I kind of got a hint of love and happiness, I got a hint of Flower Child, which came alive when I turned the air conditioner off and turned it back on and then it kind of died way, way, way down. So, um, I, I could at least kind of, Zeppelin, I could at least kind of smell those. This one? Nope. <laughs> I mean, I had to literally pick up the, the dishes from the warmers and smell it. Um, do I think it might do better when the air conditioners are not on and it's winter? Probably. It's probably still going to be a lighter one. Uh, but I also thought that about Candy Crave and I left it sit for a year and it was amazing and I was like, if that one ever comes back, I'm keeping it forever because I know when that one cures, it's amazing. So it could be just like Candy Crave, but it's a no-go for me. I don't want any more bars. <laughs> it's not even worth trying anymore for me personally. Um, like Catching Z's Collection, Shut Eye, Lights Out. They did nothing for me, and, and this one is right up there with it, so sorry if you love that one. I just, I didn't have the luck. Um, this was probably my son's second favorite. It, it was one of Dale and I's absolute favorites, my very favorite. Root beer float, but you guys, <laughs> I love juvenile scents. I love cotton candy. I love bubble gum. Bubble gum is in my club. <laughs> I prefer bubblegum blast, but bubblegum is in my club. Um, love 
sugary, girly. I loved Oodles of Orange. I did kick that one out because I'm like, I don't need it, but I do really love Oodles of Orange. Um, but I just, I can't keep all the bars, so I kicked that one out. But I love all the juvenile scents, you guys. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, Root Beer Float. Hardcore going my club. Um, we did this one down here. It was medium to strong. I don't think it's as strong as other people say, but um, it's old-fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. I get <laughs> the hint of, like, creamy ice cream like you do in um, Tangerine Cream Sickle. I get that creamy note in here, personally, my nose. But it totally, and it could just be my brain because I, Schwann's, anyone from the U.S. <laughs> who's had that truck, you flag the driver down or you've had them come and deliver food to your house. They have root beer float bars um, on that truck that you can get that are amazing. And I think Walmart even has some. So go look where all your creamsicles are because I'm pretty sure Walmart has like a great value, maybe root beer float. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Do I want my house to smell like an old fashioned soda fountain shop? You betcha. <laughs> You betcha, and none of us mind it. So, um, this is amazing. And you know what this does for me? This brings me back to being in grade school. And the girl and I that lived up the street from me, and we rode the bus together for an hour back and forth every day, an hour up, an hour back. Um, we used to collect in photo albums, rub and sniff stickers and or no, I'm sorry, scratch, that's Scentsy, scratch and sniff stickers that you'd scratch it and you would smell it. The old Hallmark stories to have them all over the place, which we don't have Hallmark anymore. But as kids, like we, I had a root beer float one, <laughs> or a root beer scented one. It smelled just like this. Or lip smackers, like Robin said, 100% lip smackers or Bonnie Bell or one of them had a um, roll on lip gloss for kids that was this, like root beer. 100%. <laughs> love, 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 love it. Oh, it rocks my world. <laughs> That's Club Ruby. Uh, my only sunshine is a strange bar. <laughs> um, hold on, let me get my notes. Did this in Gingy's room, the office, and it was um, light to medium. It was, it was lighter, but it was more leaning towards medium, so it's in between light and medium. Um, this is tuberose, jasmine, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. Um, what a strange bar. <laughs> when you smell it on cold, it smells completely different on cold than it does warm for us, personally. And Dale agreed with me. I almost on cold get welcome summer vibes, but I way more love welcome summer. But I get that like very sunshine, um, sunny day, just light, bright, happy smell on cold. On warm, this comes off like cologne to us. Cause I, I asked you, I'm like, does that smell more like cologne to you? And he's like, yes, <laughs> um, it kind of does. It was powdery. Um, which could be the tuberose or the jasmine. I don't know. Um, and it was like a soft cologne and it was pretty, but it smelled nothing on warm that it did on cold. When it's warming, I don't get any zero welcome summer vibes. None. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is not club worthy for me because I'm very picky when it comes to the cologne scents. I like them just fine. But if they're going to be club worthy, they need to kind of be unique. Um, so far, I think just sheer leathers in my, oh, and Hendrix, which smells like satin sheets to me, but, um, and Zeppelin's going in. I did kick World Traveler out because it wasn't strong enough, even though I like it. Um, it's so interesting. I want to love it, but I wish it smelled on warm like it does on cold. Um, but then again, I have Welcome Summer. That one's not going anywhere. Stay in my club forever. So I'm okay without this one. So it's just a weird bar. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has mentioned how this comes off like cologne after it's um, warming, but that's kind of our thoughts. 
uh, Bond Wood and Moonflower. This is light. This is club worthy for me. We did this in the bedroom. Again, I smell it slightly unlike forever yours. Um, is this pale warm wood, amber, moonflower, upturned white roses, or I'm sorry, delicate white roses, upturned lilies, um, for a magical fra fragrance. This is magical. Um, it's again, a it's again, a perfumey one. It's beautiful. That's one I'm totally going to wait and see how it does, um, fall winter. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, it's a softer, perfumey one. It's almost like sweet, but magical. It's more sophisticated, um, mature. Not really old lady. Um, I don't like old lady per se, except if you think Lush Gardenia is old lady. Um, it's not like to me personally, old lady, but it's very sophisticated, um, mature. Um, you wouldn't see a teenager. I don't think wearing this, but it's very nice. Um, almost kind of slightly gender neutral. Um, it's very good. <laughs> so that one's club worthy. Um, Bamboo Yuzu. Um, <clears throat> this one is medium to strong. This was in our bedroom. Um, it's dewy bamboo, lotus flower, and yuzu. I almost think yuzu, I looked this up. Yuzu is fruity. Um, it's like a citrus. It's a mix between a lemon, a lime, and grapefruit, is it? Um, but it's almost kind of, it's fresh, it's clean, it's green, and it's, it's a, it's a hint of floral. Um, we both actually like this. Um, it's, it's very pretty and it's very clean and it's very fresh. Um, so you do get the citrus but that's what makes it kind of clean and green. Um, it's not like sunburst bamboo. I'm, I'm warm. Um, more, it's, it really comes off sweet and fruity um, in a very clean green way, in a very fresh. The lotus flower is what makes this slightly full. It's, this one I'm toying with putting in my club. <laughs> Uh, might just get a couple bars, I think is probably what I'm going to do, but actually really enjoyed bamboo yuzu more than I thought we would. Um, so I think we're going to probably just pick up a couple more of that one. Uh, Berry of Paradise. This was a medium performer and where did I do this one? Uh, I didn't mark down where I did this one. Oh, this was Gingy's room in the office. <laughs> this is sugared strawberry, bird of paradise, and vanilla bean. Um, I liked it actually quite a bit, but I just personally prefer strawberry swirl, and I have strawberry swirl in my club. It's not going anywhere. I prefer the, I don't know why people <laughs> um, think, I'm the opposite of everybody else. Everyone that thinks something smells authentic strawberry it smells candied strawberry to me if people think it smells artificial i think it smells authentic so to me this comes off artificial strawberry whereas strawberry swirl comes off to me who's made plenty of strawberry smoothies in i have a vitamix <laughs> um that i made payments on through qvc <laughs> for a 500 dollar uh vitamix but um, highly recommend the Vitamix, by the way, but, and they are not sponsoring this video, <laughs> but, um, strawberry swirl is definitely frozen, fresh frozen strawberries right out of the freezer. This is very, I describe it as like strawberry taffy. Ashley P, her husband, Corey, um, described this as like a pink starburst, dead on great description. Um, 
because I think strawberry taffy because I love saltwater taffy, but I think he's correct. This is very sweet artificial strawberry, like if you mixed a straw like a strawberry starburst and a strawberry piece of taffy right here very paradise i don't get the floral like everyone else it's it's got like a weirdness to it but i in my brain i attributed that to the artificialness of it um like an artificial strawberry this is this is reminiscent of <laughs> um strawberry swirl but strawberry swirls way more authentic and I don't get that that weird sour milk note from strawberry swirl. I think it's just literally like you j instead of using cashew milk like I like to use your hemp milk or coconut milk or almond milk or whatever in my smoothies. It's like you took vanilla ice cream instead and put in with frozen strawberries. It's like it's so good. Where this comes off very artificial strawberry with a creaminess but there's there is a weirdness of like um to me it's like artificial gum or candy strawberry that comes off with a weird note maybe that's what people are saying that they don't love which is the bird of paradise i don't know i would just say this is an artificial version <laughs> of strawberry swirl and strawberry swirls better my personal opinion it's nice um enjoyed it I thought it was pretty it's just like strawberry bubble gum has that weird artificial flavor that's what this reminds me of um but it's nice um anyways <laughs> uh enchanted mist <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> I feel the same way about this one as I do Forever yours. Nope, not going to my club. Don't care to give it another shot. Um, I did actually kind of smell this one in Gingy's room, but it was so light. If this had been in my bedroom, like Forever Yours was, I probably wouldn't have smelled it at all. So it's extremely light. There's no air conditioner in Gingy's room, the office. Um, and this is Juicy Apples. And I'll tell you what this reminds me of rose petals and jasmine you don't get rose i can't even say that i pick out jasmine because i'm i'm not i i love things that have jasmine in it but can i say for sure i know exactly what jasmine smells like no <laughs> um definitely no rose petals but when it says juicy apples almost like a golden delicious apple so it's a sweet apple um but what this reminds me a lot of is the app I get in graduation. This reminds me of gra graduation. The performance reminds me of graduation. It's light and airy and sweet, apple-y like graduation, but yet kind of creamy. Must be the floral that makes it creamy. I don't know. Um, it's very pretty, but I totally get graduation vibes from it. Um, and I just, I kicked that one out because I'm over the performance on that one. Um, gave up on it. It's like a very clean green perfume to me with the apple. Um, like DKNY Be Delicious perfume. I've gotten that in my Scentbird subscription. <laughs> so it's, it's, but something that you might be able to associate it with is Graduation Bar. It's nice, it's, but this is more perfumey. Um, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I'm just over the performance and it's not worth trying to me. I don't love, love, love it. Like blonde wood moon flower, like flower child or love and happiness. So it's not club worthy for me. Um, do it in a very small space because don't, <laughs> you'll be, even a bathroom, you'll be sad because it's not the big best performer for me personally. Simply irresistible. We did this one in the office. This one is um, light to medium. This is lavender, strong woody background of amber, moss, and musk. Um, I definitely think I get the moss and musk. This, uh, I was thinking like a clean green feminine perfume, but this comes off masculine when it's warming. I definitely got a very masculine vibe. 
Ace's Better Day 2. Um, I mean, this was light to medium, so I smelled it a little bit more. Um, I'd say it's right up, it might even be stronger than Zeppelin, um, for me personally. Uh, um, this comes off very men's body care, whereas Zeppelin comes off cologne. Zeppelin's very sophisticated, demure, like, like, mm, sexy man. Um, this is body care. This is clean man, um, freshly showered man. Um, it's fine. It's, it's not obnoxious like a lot of body care, like freaking My Dear Watson, which I don't love, but I need to melt it again because so I didn't love it like the very first bring back my bar. Um, it's, it's very Irish spring. This is a way, way, way toned down body care. It's not like in your face, like My Dear Watson, but it's body care. Um, like Ben's... Since body care. I get body wash versus cologne. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, it's not club worthy for me. We, uh, Although this turns into something really nice on day two and three in my bathroom, in Jindy's room. But it was, I don't know. It's just, it's, I much prefer Zeppelin. Um, so it's, I mean, Dale liked it, but he didn't like it the way that he loved um, Zeppelin. So it's just... I mean, it's definitely more medium side of, I mean, it's lighter than a lot of body care types, but it's more of a medium performer, but that's a small room, no air conditioner, um, in the bathroom. I don't know. It's nice. Um, it's just not my favorite thing. <laughs> um, I like it just fine. I just prefer Zeppelin. <clears throat> Coconut vanilla orchid. Dark Horse. <laughs> this one I'm toying with keeping. Uh, it's a medium performer. This is orange zest, coconut milk, and vanilla orchid. Um, this is so good. Um, the orange, when it's warming, <clears throat> blends in there really nicely. The orchid, the coconut it comes off so creamy so um it was only a one day but it was a nice medium performer in, in the office um because it, it came out of Jindy's room and into the bathroom plus I had a cube in the bathroom and it was very creamy and it was very yummy like a female body care um like like a lovely lotion you would put on or a body wash, you know, and then the same, it, it's very Victoria's Secret, um, ish to me. <laughs> um, it's, it gives me, um, Love Spell vibes, but on warm, it's definitely its own fragrance because you get the, I mean, they blend together so beautifully, but you get like the little bit of floral, you get the little bit of coconut, um, Again, I wouldn't say per se that I smell orchid because <laughs> I, I mean, all the orchids I smell in the grocery store don't smell like anything, but, um, you get a floral. So it's a creamy, luxurious spa, well, spa is not, spa is more yuzu, bamboo yuzu. Um, I wouldn't really say spa. It, it leans Body care shampoo, not really shampoo. Oh man, <laughs> I'm butchering these descriptions, but it's creamy, it's beautiful, it was a great performer. I definitely want a couple more bars um, because you don't, I didn't personally, when it was warming, smell orange like I did on cold. It just made this beautiful, fruity, creamy, girly body care lotions and loveliness <laughs> i just love it yeah coconut vanilla orchid um it must be the floral in it that i don't know i was just pretty impressed with it and i swear like victoria's secret would have body care and something that smells like this because it was that good so this one i have a maybe on my club i haven't decided probably just get a couple more bars um 
to save, but I don't know. It's it's a contender for my club. It's a maybe. Um, that's a hard maybe. Um, we have a few more left. French toast. <laughs> Um, I did this one downstairs and this was strong, <laughs> funny story. Um, but this is light <clears throat> slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar, finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. Um, it's very authentic, like very authentic. Um, so I put this one in and we enjoyed it. You get the egg batter more. I didn't get it on cold really but I did on more. It literally smelled like you just made French toast with the powdered sugar on it. You get that like sugary kind of note, like lemon coconut chiffon. I got a powdered sugar type note. You do kind of get that, but it's very authentic, very authentic to the point that <laughs> I told Dale that I wanted French toast and he went and ordered me some to go and brought it to work to me. Yes, he's that sweet. <laughs> um, that, you know, and he didn't even get himself any. <laughs> He just got me French toast and brought it to work so that I could eat it. And it satisfied my craving <laughs> after smelling this. But um, I had this downstairs all day, went to bed. I could actually, this never, ever, ever happens. Um, of course, I've done them down or upstairs way too strong. And then they come downstairs. This one went upstairs and I could smell it in my bedroom <laughs> when I went to bed. I woke up a couple times during the night and could still smell French toast. The next morning I came down and I still smelled French toast. <laughs> we loved it. I didn't get any burnt wires. Um, I guess I'm fortunate. This is, this is club worthy for us. We really liked it. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't get like a burning, um, like I think even, um, Elizabeth scenes and scents, she said at the end of it, which I don't know how long she melted it, but she said at the end of it, she got where she could see where it could turn into that. I didn't get that, but um, I changed it the next morning. Um, early, like late morning, early afternoon. But I love this one. It's very fall bakery to me. Um, Any time of year, but you do get the cinnamon. You do get a slight, slight maple syrup. I mean, it's like a drizzle over top. You kind of, I wouldn't really say you get buttery, but you get like the egg batter and the slightly, just when you're making it, you know, you made it on a griddle or in a pan or, I love it. <laughs> I love everything about it. Um, you don't per se get bread, but you feel like you do because it smells so authentic to, to us. Um, so we really like that one. <laughs> this bar, <clears throat> blueberry pancakes. <laughs> this is light. For me, I I literally don't understand why people think it's strong, but um, I think it's because I'm I'm having a sniffer problem with this one in particular. But this is blueberry butter and light maple. Um, on I get it on cold. I thought for sure it was gonna be blueberry compote. Like it smelled just like blueberry cheesecake without the cheesecake. Like I was I was all ready to be all in on this because it's like a drizzle of maple syrup. It's like a light, light drizzle on a pancake. I don't really get butter. When this one is warming, um to me personally, this comes off no blueberry compote, no no fresh blueberries. <coughs> this is like syrup. Um, and it's not like a really rich, wonderful syrup. It's almost like a candied blueberry. And it's like a weird blueberry. Um, it's, it's, it's so light, I almost didn't smell it. Dale smelled it better than I did, which tells me it's, it's one of the, it's gotta be right up there with, um, and I normally smell blueberry scents just fine. Um, love blueberry rush. I'm so mad at myself for taking that out of my club now. Mad. <laughs> um, because now I have no blueberries because I'm an idiot. But, um, I thought this was going to be my everything. <laughs> right. Um, I, I got the candied, almost like a light blueberry syrup, like a diabetic. <laughs> 
<laughs> blueberry syrup. Like not a rich, yummy blueberry syrup either. Like light, <laughs> like sugar-free blueberry syrup. Like a very candied, almost non-existent blueberry <laughs> syrup. I am so sad. Um, Dale smelled it. He, he didn't think it was great. Um, didn't think it was blueberry compote. Um, kind of understood what I was saying with a candy blueberry, but he did smell because I would be like, do you smell that? And he's like, no, or yes. And then I would be like, I don't smell it. And then I would stick my nose up to the, <laughs> the warming dishes. And I'd be like, Hey, I get like diabetic blueberry syrup, like sugar free. <laughs> I get nothing unless I'm right up on it. And it's like this weird, weird candy blueberry for me. I don't know. That's a no. I might get one more just to see if it does better in the winter. <laughs> Or, or fall um just because I hate to totally give up on it but watch me be really mad but I might get one more or maybe two to mix it I don't know it's weird it's not what I thought it was gonna be I get no pancake <laughs> I get sugar-free <laughs> blueberry syrup anyways <laughs> um blackberry orange marmalade this is club worthy for me. I'm going to put this in my club. It was medium to strong. This was fantastic. Did it downstairs. This is orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals. 100% I get blackberry jam and I get orange marmalade. It's phenomenal. It's a great performer. Um, I absolutely love this one. Absolutely love it. It's like black raspberry vanilla and orange marmalade. But you, you get like the jam, the blackberry jam. Like if you were to warm this with three thumbs up from Haunted Mansion, three thumbs up bar with that bread, like French baguette bread. If you were to melt this with it, I think you would get jam on toast. Um, This is very authentic to me. Like I totally get orange marmalade. It's like good. Um, if you absolutely can't stand sugary scents, you may not absolutely love it. It may be a little too cloying, but phenomenal. Like I want to go make toast and put some orange marmalade on it or some, and maybe mix some blackberry jam in it. It's that good. Like I actually really love this and I don't always love blackberry scents. Loved it. Club worthy. I, I'm keeping that one. I have four cubes left. <laughs> Summer rain. <clears throat> and this is a medium performer. Did this in the office, Jindy's room. Do you sprinkle cyclamen so you get like a rain sort of feel from that? Fresh botanicals, pinch of black lava salt. I get <laughs> a sun soaked petals vibe. And I hate sun soaked petals. I hate it. It's got some kind of a green stemmy note in it that I just can't. Like, it makes my belly do flip flops in a bad way. <laughs> like, I don't like it. I don't like um, inhale, exhale for the same reason. I don't like fluffy fleece for the same, like, that belly flip flop. Like, it makes me a little nauseous. This one's nice on warm. I'll give it that. I, I plan to mix this with Thunderstorm. <laughs> um, I actually like Thunderstorm better. I do like, Thunderstorm's extremely aggressive, like to the verge of giving me a headache ag aggressive. And I want to love Thunderstorm because I really love the fresh white roses in there. But it's so aggressive, it, it borderline gives me a headache. So I took it out of my club. <laughs> Um, thinking, oh, this will be lighter and this will be better. I did not know it was going to have a sun-soaked petals vibe in it. Um, so on warm, I get almost a, and maybe it's the black lava salt. I get almost a, an ocean salty air note that I didn't like in, um, Soothe. One of the vitamin bars, I'm pretty sure it was Soothe, that had that, that one almost came off like fishy, salty sea air that I did not like. It made my belly do that weird flip floppy thing. This one is like, like a little bit of that sea mineral weirdness that I don't love. It's less noticeable on warm than it is on 
and cold. I don't know. It it's not my jam. I might get one more because I only have four cubes. If I like the way it mixes with thunderstorm, I only have one bar, but I would have four left over and to do the mix one more time and maybe I'll mix it with something else. Maybe I'll get brave and do it later. <laughs> It's great for a bathroom, um, laundry room. If you don't mind the salty sea mineral smell, this one's not quite as fishy <laughs> as the Soothe was, uh, Vitamin Soothe. Um, it's not quite as fishy as that one, but it's 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 probably what I don't like in, um, what is the other? What is the other bar? <laughs> oh, by the sea. It has something in it I don't like either, and it could, well, so does coral waters. I don't know, I think it's like the sea mineral -y type smells that I don't like. So on cold, I get sun soaked petals. No. <laughs> and it could be the cyclamen. Cyclamen could be what I don't like, I don't know, and the lava salt from the mixture. Um. But yeah, I might get one more if I like this mix to finish. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep Thunderstorm. Okay, so I don't know, you guys. Because um, I have no more Thunderstorm. <laughs> so I just have that one bar. So doing the mix, I'll only have half a bar of Thunderstorm. Maybe that's good enough. <laughs> Maybe instead of doing a whole bar, just, have, just four cubes of Thunderstorm will be better. I don't know. And then I'll be mad that I kicked it out of my cup. But anyways, it doesn't matter. So this is, I, uh, uh, no, um, it's definitely more rain-like on cold, I can, or on warm, I can definitely see the, the rain vibe that they're going for, but it, to my nose, it comes off sea mineral, and I don't love that. <laughs> Dale didn't care for it either, so I don't feel too bad about not wanting it. I just don't think that's my, that's my thing. I will... A million times keeps it like sand swept at the end of the season is going to my club. I freaking love sand swept. I love the mixture of sand swept and Atlantic air. Love it. That's me. That's totally me. More than I love this. And if you like sun soaked petals, if you liked vitamin soothe, um, even if you like thunderstorm, I definitely think you'll, you'll like this more. Uh, than I do. Um, it's just, it's not for me. I hate this bar. <laughs> I hate this bar. I hate this bar. I thought this was my least favorite. This, this one? No, this is my least favorite. I freaking hate. Hate with a passion. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will never melt this bar again, ever, <laughs> ever. I hate it. I took it out of my warmers because I hated it so much. It is way too fig for me. Um, <coughs> it's a toned down version of Midnight Fig. So if Midnight Fig was too strong for you, but you liked it, if you like that earthy fig, you'll love this. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> there is no pineapple. There is no coconut. I don't even freaking smell vanilla unless that's what tones down the fig. It's totally blue fig and it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Blue fig, it, it did it to me on midnight fig in a worse way. And I took that one out before it was done. That was rich, dark, earthy fig, like dirty, earthy fig. This is okay. The, the vanilla probably creams it out a little bit. Maybe the coconut vanilla. If there is pineapple in here, Anyways, um, this is terrible. <laughs> this is so terrible. <clears throat> Unless you're crazy for fig, this is, it comes off like Play-Doh, 100%. I got Play-Doh for Midnight Fig, but whoa, that was intense. This is practically as bad, but it's a creamy, earthy fig. And it's, no, it's Play-Doh, it's Play-Doh. I don't want, no. No, 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 no. Uh, so for me, it was strong. I did this in Gingy's room because I figured I wouldn't like it. I, 
I hate it. <laughs> I took it out of my work. I left it for a day. I tolerated it for a day. The next day I could smell it just as well. It's probably medium to strong. I took it out. I'm like, no, I don't care <laughs> if it still smells. This has got to go. No, I, no, I hate Play-Doh. I suffered through a day. I'm done. <laughs> no, it's terrible. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, <coughs> so my favorites, um, that I'm putting in my club, uh, these are totally going in my club. Some I'm still thinking about. I'm probably just going to get a couple bars, but French Toast is going in my club. Blonde Wooden Moonflower, going in my club. Love and Happiness, going in my club. Zeppelin, going in my club. Cotton Candy Cookie, going in my club. Will these all stay in my club? Who knows? It depends on how well they do. Um, come fall and winter, eight months out of the year here in um, Northwestern Pennsylvania. <laughs> It is cold and you don't need air conditioners and it's cold and yeah. So wax does amazing eight months out of the year. So flower child is going into my club. Black berry orange marmalade is going to my club. Root beer float, hands down, going to my club. Thank you. I voted for this too, but thank you for bringing this back. And lemon coconut chiffon. This was probably Dale's favorite and then followed by root beer float in these are pretty equal for first place for me and then um flower child well zeppelin's right up there with him on these but flower child love and happiness and blonde wind moon flower are totally tied for second place um and then the other three four i don't know i'm putting four five six seven eight i'm putting nine in my club um totally definitely not <laughs> if i have a coconut vanilla no on summer rain i might might probably not gonna get one more bar same blackberry blackberry blueberry pancakes probably only gonna get one more bar um maybe <clears throat> to make it an even 10 maybe coconut vanilla orchid because that's pretty good um no one's simply irresistible very a paradise i already have strawberry swirl my only sunshine, I much prefer welcome summer, hands down. <laughs> Caramel vanilla delight, um, no, <laughs> it's generic. Um, love you very much, it was nice, but I'll probably only get another bar. Um, Cutie pie cupcake, maybe get two more, but I don't need Fruit Loops, I just don't. I, I rem it triggered my memory like, oh, that's why I didn't go in my club. <laughs> Um, Forever Yours, no, it's not worth my time. <laughs> Enchanted Mist, not worth my time. I don't, I'm not the biggest, I'm more team pumpkin than team apple, so, except Jack's Obsession. <laughs> That's the best apple cinnamon ever. Bamboo Yuzu, probably get a couple more bars. Buckleberry, probably get a couple more bars. That's a maybe. Um, that's another maybe, because that might make an amazing mixer with like oats and honey. I mean, that might be phenomenal. Or with three thumbs up. <laughs> oh. um, inner Peace is, no, no, I don't like citronella. <laughs> or I'm not a huge lemongrass fan anyway. It's why I gave up on, couldn't wait to get through my brick of lemon coke or coconut lemongrass. I was just over the lemongrass to, no. Berry Perry Pumpkin, I'm probably getting one more. I don't mind the pumpkin candy. So, <coughs> excuse me for coughing. Still struggling slightly with that from when I was sick like three, four weeks ago. So that's our thoughts on Bring Back My Bar. I'm so sorry that it took for that it took so long. I'm so sorry that I repeat myself <laughs> a few times because I keep thinking I'm gonna describe it different and I describe it the exact same way. And I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so I know it's what, the fifth? So those are our thoughts. Those are the ones that we like. Those are the ones that we're putting in our club, maybe getting a couple more bars of. Hope that's helpful, you guys. Um, and my club club should ship here this, well, it'll charge this next week. So, um, and yeah, that's my quarterly club. It's it's the bigger, bigger one. So yeah, see which ones I saved out of there and hopefully it's helpful and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.